Yo, yo, it's Pano. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be adapting some vintage lenses on a modern camera. So the goal here today is to take this vintage Canon 50 millimeter lens and we're going to adapt it to a modern camera. Now, how are we going to do this? We're going to be using an adapter. So I picked this adapter up off Amazon for $50. It adapts the FD mount to the EF mount. Now, why do I want to do this? First of all, because I've been shooting some film photos using this lens and camera combination, and I'm really, really liking how the images are coming out. So that kind of sparked me to think, hey, is it possible to, you know, attach this cheap vintage lens to one of my modern cameras? So the cameras I'm going to try and attach this to are the Blackmagic 6K Pro with the EF lens mount and the Canon 5D Mark III with an EF lens mount. So this is going to be for photos, the Blackmagic will be for videos. So another thing that inspired this was seeing how some other filmmakers would use very expensive and very rare vintage lens sets to achieve some very, very cool results, such as the Leica R Summicron lens sets. Now those sets cost anywhere between 15 and 20,000 US dollars. We don't have that kind of budget today. Today we're working with a lens that you can pick up on eBay for around a hundred bucks Canadian and an adapter that you can pick up on Amazon for $50 and use it with a modern camera that you have in your pocket already. So this lens came out in March of 1971 when the world was a very much different place than it is today. There was around four iterations of this lens and today we have the second version of the lens which came out in November of 1971. Some of the things they changed over time was, you know, building it with plastic instead of metal, making it a bit more more lightweight, changing up the coatings on the glass itself. But all in all, the 50 millimeter lens has remained a staple to this day and is nicknamed the Nifty 50 because it is such a good all around lens for most situations. Oh, thank you. All right, let's crack into the adapter. So here we have the KNF Concept adapter from Amazon, $50, quite cheap, nothing else in the box, we don't need that. So on one side, it's an EF mount, and on the other side, it's an FD mount with a glass element in between. Now this glass element, I imagine, is to make up for the increased distance between the glass itself and the image sensor. So put that down for a sec, grab the lens from our FD mounted Canon AE-1 camera, grab the Blackmagic 6K Pro, pop off the lens cap. We're gonna line up the red dots here. looks like there's a lock and open position on the adapter. We're gonna to wanna to make sure that that is in the open position. Take our lens here, make sure it is fully unlocked before we put it on. We're gonna lock the ring of the FD lens and then we're gonna lock the adapter in place. Just like that, we've attached a lens that is over 40 years old onto a camera that is quite modern and extremely capable. This is a really cool unity of vintage Canon and modern black magic wizardry. So let's switch it on and see if we get an image out of this thing. Whoa. All right, so it's worth noting that this is a manual aperture lens with a max aperture of f1.8 and a minimum aperture of f16. Now there were different versions of this lens with a max aperture of f1.2. Those were significantly more expensive and more rare. The f1.8 is the more common version. And if you see it go from f1.8 to f22, then it is a third or fourth iteration of the lens. It seems to be mounted on here. We're also gonna be popping it on the Canon 5D Mark III photo camera and see how that looks as well because these are both EF mount cameras. Gonna run some tests, see how it goes out in the field and I'll get back to you shortly. Let's go.
quite the adventure. We had the Canon 50 millimeter FD lens from 1971 paired with the modern Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro, which has a native EF mount. Now the native EF mount allowed us to use an FD to EF mount adapter, and it also allowed us to mount it to the Canon 5D Mark III, which has a native EF mount because it's a Canon camera. So KNF Concepts also makes this adapter for other popular lens mounts such as Sony E-mount and the Micro Four Thirds lens mount. What did we find during this experiment? It's pretty much unusable at f1.8. As you close the aperture down to around 2.8, it starts to become a bit more usable. And then I found it really became usable in footage that I would actually put in a project was around f4. And I was using it mostly around f4 to f5.6. The footage I found resembled a look that I have chased in the past in using dream filters and promist filters to kind of kill that like digital look that you get from putting very, very sharp photo lenses on cinema cameras such as these. And the funny thing is this lens actually costs pretty much the same amount as like a good quality Promist or Dream Filter. Now when it came to the photos, the photos were something that I had a little bit of trouble dialing in the settings. However, once I was able to get the settings right, I managed to get some pretty decent photos. I found the pattern of the bokeh was quite interesting and artistic looking. However, there was a bit of ghosting in the center of the image, which made it look a little bit out of focus. And it's not something I personally would use in a setting where I have to get the shot and I'm relying on this lens. In a video environment, I could rely on this lens to help me get the shots that I need. Now, when it comes to more serious applications with client work, I may not be bringing this lens. However, with enough practice, enough time dialing it in, the results can be achieved seamlessly. And there was honestly times when I was out there filming that I forgot this lens was over 40 years old. This is a fairly cheap lens, but lenses last a lifetime if they're taken care of. This is just proof of that. Whoever had this lens before me, whatever history this lens has, it was taken care of and now it is here to serve for experimental purposes, would I recommend doing this? Definitely yes. This is a very, very, very cheap way to get yourself a really cool lens with a really cool look. And this is cheaper than most modern lenses that you can buy off the shelf today. So today we had the lens paired with a Blackmagic 6K Pro. However, this will work with most modern cameras. Just search FD to whatever lens type you have and I'm sure you will find an adapter. If you're having trouble finding an adapter, drop a comment and I can send you a link to one. So I'd call this experiment a success in my books. It works, it works well. The adapter was 50 bucks, the lens is 100 bucks on eBay, and it works. That was what I was skeptical about. I thought the adapter just wouldn't work at all. So give it a shot. Grab yourself a cheap Canon FD lens off eBay and grab yourself an adapter from Amazon or wherever and try it out. It's fun, it's inexpensive, and it actually works. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video today. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button below. And if there's any other experiments you'd like to see me do, let me know in the comments. I am very surprised with the results we got today. I didn't think this would actually work because of how cheap the adapter is and how mixed the reviews were on Amazon. Some people said it was great. Some people said it didn't even work at all. I think this thing works amazing and it can have many creative applications. The only limits out there are those that you place upon yourself. So grab yourself a vintage lens, grab yourself a cheap adapter and go and have some fun. This has been Pano here on the channel with the first experiment that we do together. There's gonna to be many more experiments to come in the future, but for now, keep crushing it out there and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.